Hey, Becca C. Smith here, and welcome to my Comic-Con 2022 vlog. Now, I went with the lovely Kate Cavanaugh, and we joked the entire time that between the two of us, we have the perfect vlog. <laughs> Because I would see her filming stuff and I'd be like, oh yeah, I should film something. And then she'd see me filming stuff and she'd be like, oh right, get the camera out. And so, yeah. As a result, <laughs> I'm going to be filling in the blanks. And while I'm doing that, I am going to be, can you see this? Let me pull it up. So I am going to be turning this XL shirt that we got from the What We Do in the Shadows panel, which was awesome, by the way. And I'm going to be turning it into a more Nadia-like shirt. I got this um, t-shirt from Comic-Con as well, and it was this exact same size. Um, and then I just did some princess sleeves and then just tapered it in and made it a more... Just a more, a, more of a style shirt that I like. With Nadia, I definitely want to have the puff sleeve, but I think instead of just tapering it here, I'm going to do like a little bit more gathered because we do love a good logo and I don't want to get rid of that. All right, well, let's begin with the actual vlog itself. Okay, I've got everything packed in here and I'm bringing my wedge pillow. Laptop, cameras, all the equipment's gonna go into that. My sewing machine bag is now my computer slash camera bag. On the road! Just leaving LA now though, so still got a ways to go. You know, this is the, I don't know if I told you, we're staying at this hotel that's supposed to be haunted. So they, it's kind of got that antique vibe to it. We've got a fireplace. The best part is that it has a balcony. It overlooks the courtyard, so that'll be nice when you just need a little bit of peace and quiet, a little bit of a break from the mayhem of Comic-Con. All right, I'm going. I absolutely thought I took footage of that, but apparently I did not. I did take a few pics though. Oh, hi, Snake. Oh. <laughs> he wants to help. I was just so excited. I didn't even, <laughs> sun was setting. It was, it was, everything was being built. There was construction, uh, but some of the stuff was finished. It was, it was, you know, it's that magic magic time. First thing we need to do is just cut the sides, if Snake will let me. You gonna let me? Okay. You have beautiful paw prints on there. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, put some more on there. Get some good kitty litter dust. Just what Nadja's needed. Okay. Uh, we did want to go to the Severance escape room but it just, the line was too long and there was a registration that we uh, tried for. We had to get up at like 6 a.m. to try for it and uh, we still didn't get in. So yeah, so the escape room did not happen. And the fact that there was a Vecna clock at our hotel was, <laughs> I feel like was a good omen and I think Every freaking corner was playing, and every radio was playing Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush, so it, it felt very uh, Stranger Things themed. <laughs> now to pin, but let's get back to the vlog. Good morning. It is preview night, so it's not officially day one of Comic-Con, but it's preview night of Comic-Con. Kate is on her way. If her flight is on time, I forgot to ask her what airline, so I can't check. I just have to wait till she texts me. It should be arriving here uh, in about a half an hour. So, crossing fingers. But actually, last night was great. I slept on the blow up mattress. <laughs> I know, it's like I have this king size bed right next to me, but listen, when you get to a certain age, 
your back, your neck, your shoulders, everything has to be just so, so that you don't have a whole day of pain. So this is what I've realized works for me in hotel rooms. I don't always do it, but um, in this case, since I'll be rooming with, with Kate and since, you know, um, since there's only one bed, it ended up working out perfectly. But this is my first outfit, the shirt that I made. It's, uh, if you can see up close, it's Grogu and Mando. I've made an outfit for every day of Comic-Con. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit tight until Kate arrives. I didn't record Kate uh, coming into the hotel room <laughs> because I was just too excited. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna pin this to exactly where I want it. Making sure the shoulder, I cut the shoulders too, so I wanna make sure they're right where the, I'd want the, the puff to come out. So I think that, I think that looks right when you get seam allowance in there. We'll find out. Can always fix it later, I guess. Did end up exploring around our hotel and around the convention center just to see what some of the outdoor stuff is, because usually that's the most fun stuff. We had to get our proof of vaccination bands as well, and since it was preview night and it was during the day, uh, we were really lucky. It was hard to line at all. Uh, later we saw that there was, oh my god, a line that probably was at least a couple hours long. Okay, so this is Breath, <laughs> Breath, of, of, the wild. Breath of the Wild with, what is it, artichoke? <laughs> yeah, artichoke before. <laughs> It's actually, it's good. It's good? <laughs> I think another taste. It tastes more like the wild berry syrup than it does Oh, the... okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. It looks really pretty. Got it. It feels like Breath of the Wild. It does. Chopper eating dinner with us. It's like the bags are all DC. We got Aquaman and another Shazam that looks evil. <laughs> oh, is it? It's an evil Shazam. Oh, I'm sure there's a name, Supergirl. I think those are the only two. I think there might be like a couple other with just different. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so we are here. We we're are. Here. It's empty right now, but that's only because we're kind of lost, oh. but kind of know where we're going. Yeah. I don't know why I'm pantomiming. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like it's lost? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. We're that line way up there. Is that where we're going? I think. Yeah. She said to head all the way down. if I want this Ahsoka Tano jacket Force 99 shirt <laughs> Spoiler alert I got both but then the rest of the evening was just spent shopping and, and chilling and uh, just looking at everything that was going on Okay, pinning's all done. Now I have to very carefully take this off so I don't prick myself. Okay, so we are now waiting in line. We're actually at the front of, well, we're second in line. We are waiting in line for the Her Universe wristbands to get into the fashion show tonight. So they open up at 1 p.m. and then we can get our wristbands, but since we're like Second in line, we're gonna be in the first group, which is awesome, because then we get to pick whatever seats we want. <laughs> but yes, and then we're gonna try and make the Vampire Academy for Jess, right? Yes, for, for Jess. Jess. For Jess. <laughs> and for ourselves, because we've both read the books too, but, but still, we like saying for Jess. <laughs> we are a little bit further back in line, like three or four. We were in the wrong line. We were in the wrong yeah. line before, yeah. but now we're in the right line. <laughs> Yay! But as you can see, it's getting bigger and bigger. 
Well, not too long yet. Um, we still have a couple more hours to go. Okay, so we got in an hour early, so that was awesome. So we have our wristbands for her universe. And we're on our way to try and make the Vampire Academy panel. It's very windy. Um, and what else? Oh, so of course the one time I went to the bathroom, Ashley Eckstein walked by and said hi to everybody in the line. So Kate got to say hi to Ashley. I did not. Of course, that was the one time I'm going to the bathroom, but <laughs> it was fine. Anyway, we're excited to go tonight. Yay! We got into the Indigo Ballroom. Yay! We are a panel early though, so we have no idea what the next panel is. <laughs> but the one after is Vampire Academy. Yay! We did it! We did it! We did it! We play. and writer Marguerite McIntyre and your cast he plays Dimitri Belikov please welcome to the stage Kieran Moore she's your Rose Hathaway Cece Stringer please bow down for Vasilisa Dragomir it's Daniela Nieves and he's Christian Ozera it's Andre De Kim Now while they all get settled, friendly reminder that if you want to follow along with this panel on social media, please follow. Okay. We got these cool hats at the Vampire Academy panel, which was an awesome panel, and I filmed none of it. I'm sure if you go to Kate's vlog, I think she films all of it. <laughs> I'm going to sew up the sides here. Basically, I'm just gonna follow the line of, of pins. And so, basically, we had to race across the convention center. We had to like quickly grab a bite to eat, and then, uh, then we just, we like raced over to the Her Universe. And because we had gotten our bands, we got in right away. We made it to the Her Universe. San Diego Comic Con has been home for the Her Universe Fashion Show. We've built a community here, a family, a safe space so full of light, joy, and hope. But it's been three long years since we've come together in this very ballroom.
right, show me which one I'm going for. Okay, I went for, I ended up going for this one. And then you went for this one. So make sure you're both ends up in the basket. I liked a lot of them though. They were all, I know. I feel like if I'm gonna guess, I would say either Doc Ock is gonna be Doc Ock was really cool. Or um, the the guy. Oh yeah, that's Doc Ock. Doc Ock. Or the guy that did um, Matt Hades. No, the, um, that one. Doc Ock. His was so cool. I forgot about his. Yeah. Just the whole mirror thing. The mirror thing was so cool. I, oh, he might just win the whole thing though. How do you tell like I don't know. I don't win the whole thing? If I was to guess what the judges are yeah. going to do, I don't know. See, but now you're like the ones you like best. I know. I'm thrilled to announce our judges' winner, which is Cindy Guillermo. <laughs> Get a brew in your hand in no time at all. Right this way. Welcome back. Wow. All right. Hello. Oh, How are you? Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at those cups. It's amazing. Uh, red wristbands. Uh, I'm red, yes. Oh, perfect, thank you. Yay. All right. Oh. So you are the black red <laughs> fan, and I am the red. Yes. So should we, should we cheers? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Wait, I didn't actually get that. Oh. Cheers. <laughs>
is a perfect time to be going, folks. You know, turning the turks are like socks. So, if you please find your way to the exit, thank you so much for coming. And if you don't leave, you can't come back. You know? After we went to the D and D tavern. We headed over to the Ghosts Outside Pavilion, which the line was kind of long and it didn't look like it was that great because it's at the Petco area. We were in line and this lady that was in front of us had just been to the Abbott Elementary Outdoor Pavilion and we had seen the panel the day before, right before Vampire Academy. and. Kate is like a huge fan of the show and she's like, oh my God, you would love it. And they actually played the pilot. So I watched the pilot and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna freaking love this. And the funny thing is I actually bought a fire stick so we could watch it in the hotel. <laughs> I ended up watching like half the season during, you know, during our breaks over Comic-Con, <laughs> but just such a good show. So anyway, the outdoor pavilion, she had like every, she had a bag, a water bottle, like all the swag of old, because, you know, in the last five years or so, uh, Comic-Con has gotten a little, uh, you know, a little, little on the cheap side when it comes to swag. Understandable, there's a lot of people, but Abbott Elementary went all out. And I have since caught up on the show, and uh, when I got back, I watched all of it. It is, it is so good. It is such a good show. And it was, it was amazing, this outdoor pavilion. So now I just need to do the sleeves. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna baste from here to here. I kind of eyeball it. I just needed to have a little bit of a give up here. And then, uh, then we will sew inside the sleeves. Great job. We are in the waiting in line for uh, over two hours, but we are just about to go inside. Ah, I'm ready, I'm ready. It's so ready. Welcome, my new teachers! Hello! So glad to have you! Come on all the way in! We are very glad to have you. We're very desperate to have you. So everybody, make room. This is a uh, Teacher Orientation Day! Yay! Best as I can figure, he's arranged it so that you have to connect the boys to men songs with their lyrics. Okay. Is this anything you're good at? Yep. Okay, you can see two, just go ahead and press them both simultaneously. Uh, we'll okay. see if anything happens. Uh, okay. These two? Okay, hold on, hold on. Alright, now try it. Uh, uh, The more juice we can get one into the classroom, the better. Students have brought out their favorite teachers. Strangely, I am not up here. But I said the sexiest day of the week Attention was teachers. Thursday. Thursday. What you say was? I said Wednesday. It's hump day. Just to let you know what this is, we've got a scholastic wish list right here oh. that you can donate directly to. Okay, we took personality quizzes and I got Janine and Kate got you his t-shirt. Here's a gift for you to start the school year oh, off with. We went out to dinner with two of my very favorite people in the whole wide world, Luke and Suzanne, and uh, I meet with them every Comic Con. It was great dinner and it was great catching up with them. We're going into the Ballroom 20 line, so it's still on the outside. I don't know if you can see through the window, but that's where we need to get. But we're trying to get into the Mythic Quest panel. So we're hoping. We're hoping. We're hoping. Looks like we're going to go through a little bit of weed, but not too much. That's our giant line. <laughs> but 
at least we're inside. We're waiting inside now. Yeah, yeah. that's nice compared to yesterday. <laughs> air, I know, at least it's sort of air conditioned, although yeah. I'm kind of hot, but yeah. still. I think this is it. I think we're going in. We keep going back and forth in vlogs. Um, okay, so I was not as good at recording. So I did not record that we watched Interview with a Vampire panel and then Orville panel. And now we're actually going to be watching the panel we came here for, which is. That's like an 80s movie, Vision Quest. No, Mythic Quest, which we both love. So. so we're really excited. And honestly, the other panels were good. They were? Yeah, they yeah. were good panels. And I've never yeah. seen the Orville. Okay. Yeah, I've, well, seen, like, I've seen season one and two, but I couldn't get into season three. But now that we watched the panel, I might, makes, I might give it another oh, shot. I'd like to say it makes sense. He just corroborated it. Did. I, it did. I mean, he literally was saying, like, the reasons why I stopped watching in the middle. Anyway. Yeah. I am contractually obliged to start with the co-creator, executive producer, and he does star as I am Grim, the great Rob McElhenney. Yeah. Rob, did I wait long enough for the applause to swell? Yeah. Uh, the first season was fantastic, but it seemed like in the second season, it really clicked with people, and now you can see, I mean, look at the room and how many people are here. What do you think happened? What's this, wow, what's the, what is the secret of the success of Mythic Quest? <laughs> <laughs> and at the time I wasn't sure what was going on yet, and I had a stack of about 50 Wayne Knight images. Um, and I just needed to pick one, and I was like, this is directing. <laughs> uh, it was awesome, it was fun. And Mr. Hornsby, any, any great lessons for those thinking about directing a television show? It was pretty easy. Well. <laughs> it was pretty straightforward, but no. Uh, uh, I actually had a great time. It was sort of like a, a project where you were, it, it was completely frantic, uh, and you were trying to land a plane because things were falling off, and you're in it, and you're, you're, you're running around, you're asking the 50 questions, um, but you're discovering things, and you're coming up with bits, and it just, it was really fulfilling. It was really fulfilling. And now we are on to Sunday. <laughs> uh, Kate's flight actually got canceled, so we took it as a sign. So we were on our way to Hall H to see the What We Do in the Shadows, see if we could get in. And uh, obviously, from this t-shirt, you know we did. And it was so good. <laughs> uh, that fire stick helped out immensely too because I caught up before we went to the panel. <laughs> we got we, to Hall H. I, we were saying that we, we made it. We feel like between the two of us, we have like a complete vlog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She I got, got the like, walking. Yeah, <laughs> you got you're like, okay, we're going in. I've got like, we're in. We're here. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> and we made a friend along the way. Yeah. Which we realized that we to like literally all of the panels that we've the gone same one. I wonder how close she was. Oh, Wouldn't it be oh, funny if like yeah, you could rewind right time and she's like there? Or oh, yeah, if we look at our oh, footage. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> okay, but we made it. We're gonna sit. I guess we're watching the Mayans. We're gonna find out the Mayans. Maybe something will turn out. Kristen Shaw. via Zoom, Natasha Dimitriou. Can you hear us, Natasha? Yeah! And also joining us live via Zoom, Kay Van Novak. Yeah! All right. Yeah, Harvey, you do a lot of combat in this show. I'm wondering if you could rank your favorite moves, uh, hand-to-hand swords, or in season three finale, you did a plancha. 
wrestling move. I'm wondering which of those three is your favorite and uh, which your least favorite. Oh wow, I think Blanchard was. Uh, it wasn't in the script, right, Paul? Like, it was, I think no, it was, that was you came up with it. I came up with Blancha on the on the yeah. Uh, and uh, if you know, you know, you know. Uh, so I think Blancha is really fun, but I like the 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 seriousness and this uh, the intensity of that scene with uh, Nandor because that line has become one of my favorite lines. Like, the only reason you're alive is because I let you live. <laughs> so intense that uh, it made for a better, you know, explosive uh, stunt scene. So that was my favorite, I think. And then this night market, just because of the market itself, was uh, up there as well. So those would be my top two. <laughs> okay, we got our merch for both the panels. Not yet. Oh, oh, oh. And a show neither of us watch. The mines, but it's a cool freaking oh, shirt. It's, it's just the back. The front oh, is blank. Oh, I kind of oh, like that. I do too. Nice. Ta-da! It's done. And I even got the, what we do. I realized it actually is better not to make this uh, stretchy on the bottom or a pleat, because normally I'll do like a whole pleat, which I could still do, I guess. But honestly, I kind of like the flowy look, and I do like that it says what we do in the shadows on the side. So I'm going to leave it as it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I had such an amazing time at Comic-Con with Kate. It was one of the most perfect Comic-Cons. I missed it so much and it was so awesome to be back and to share it with friends and it was just the perfect Comic-Con. And I'm so happy we got to see pretty much everything we wanted to see. The only thing we didn't see was uh, the ghosts thing that we waited, you know, because, but I think it's fine. From what I've heard, it was just get like a keychain. And honestly, Abbott Elementary by far surpassed everything. <laughs> it was just so nice to be back with my fellow nerds <laughs> where we could just be nerds together. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.